I'm naturally uh, highly honoured that Her Majesty has accepted the recommendation of her Australian government and yeah. appointed me to this position. Yeah. And uh, I shall do my very best to be of some service to the Australian people and to the Empire. Yes. William, have you ever served with Australian troops or had them under your command? I've never had them under my command. I had hoped to have them in uh, Burma, but uh, unfortunately for me, they went on to New Guinea, where they inflicted the first defeat that the Japanese army had ever suffered. And uh, I also, of course, served with them in the First World War very closely in Gallipoli. And um, I came away from there with uh, two very strong impressions. Mm -hmm. One was that the Australian contingent in Gallipoli were the finest troops I'd ever seen. And uh, secondly, uh, that thank God they were on my side. <laughs> uh, on my side and on other sides. And take it by and large, and overall, I think the British soldier is the best soldier in the world. And that is evidenced by the behavior of the British Army at the present time. Our regulars, our national servicemen, and our territorials are, I think, first class. Uh, don't ask me about it, because I might be prejudiced. Mm -hmm. But uh, go and ask their commanding officers, or better still, mm -hmm ask the fellows that they fought alongside, the Americans in Korea, or it wouldn't be a bad idea to go and ask the people they fought against. Yeah. And I think you will get a very good opinion of them. There's nothing matter with the youth of this country. What's wrong is with the fellows of my age. <laughs> now, as it is, if you take the young man of today and you give him a decent job and explain to him why he's doing it and give him a little bit of reasonable leadership, I think you'll get the finest response that we've ever had in our history.